if you're aiming for one of the Ivy League colleges or some other top-ranked school in America, can a strength in one area in your academic record make up for a deficiency in another, like a high SAT score? Could that make up for a low GPA or vice versa? Well, I'm going to talk about that in this video, so stay tuned. You don't know how many students and parents I've met over the years who said, well, you know, my, my, my son's or my daughter's GPA isn't that great. So I'm hoping that a really high SAT score will make up for that. And I said, well, where do you want uh, to apply to colleges? And they named these top 20 schools, really, really highly ranked colleges. Okay. For highly ranked colleges, nothing makes up for anything. You have to be good at all of it. You have to have a stellar SAT score. You have to have, this, have a stellar GPA. You have to have a very focused activity list. Okay, so nothing makes up for anything. I mean, if any one of those things are poor, they're not likely to accept you. It's going to be very difficult because it's so competitive. There are so many students who are good at everything that if you're lacking in one thing, unless you are, uh, there are some exceptions okay there are some exceptions and and those are for example if you're a very underrepresented minority and by that i'm not just talking about ethnicity okay but sometimes it has to do with ethnicity like if you're african-american or if you're native american hispanic those are three traditionally underrepresented minorities but also if you're a student athlete uh, and you're stellar in your sport and they really need that position player in that sport and you're that player and they really want you but your gpa is not that good or maybe your gpa is pretty good but your sat is not that good you know they may still accept you okay those are exceptions but just for normal generally speaking if you're applying to these elite schools the higher ranked the school is you have to be good at all of them nothing really makes up for anything you can't really be poor in any one area okay so if your aim is one of the ivy league colleges or some other top ranked school Make sure that you begin early in ninth grade and you want to plan this very well and you want to make sure that all of your academics, your extracurriculars are stellar in all areas. Make sure your extracurriculars are focused, not scattered, and make sure you do very well in school. You take plenty of AP classes, as many as you can. Um, you want to nail the AP exams. You want to do well in all the, uh, the AP classes. And of course, your goal should be to get a perfect 4.0 GPA all the way across. Now, I understand this is not easy and I'm not saying you should do it and I'm, I'm not saying everybody should do it. I'm just saying if that is your goal and if you are capable and you can do this and it is within your ability to do so, then more power to you. Good luck to you and I hope that you succeed, but I hope that this video gives you some direction and guidance on how you should go about doing that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.